choice. Have you ever considered how lovely the world is? When we think of beautiful, we think of the best tourist attractions in the world. We have Paracay in Malay Atlan, Niagara Falls in Canada, and Machu Picchu in Peru. Now these attractions are the entire picture of the world. How we see it when we are at the rooftop or a plane. Now let's zoom in and focus on the more detailed part of our picture. We have natural disasters like volcanic eruptions, typhoons, tsunamis, and etc. Let's zoom in more. We have corruptions, poverty, injustices, prejudice, discrimination, generally, violence. The world without these unexpected issues is not a reality. There will always be oppositions, arguments, competitions, and ugliness within us. Now I am asking you, how do you picture world peace? Peace is a choice. According to Durkheim, crime is beneficial to society because of social changes, and it can make people realize what needs to be changed. It may be inevitable and beneficial, but too many pose a risk to innocence. Too many would not cause changes, but it would encourage more and more people to commit crime. And too many crimes are useless if no action is taken to prevent it. It is true that poverty, injustices, and social roots push people to commit crime. But crime is not a valid response. Crime is not a valid response. Diversity may be a barrier to peace, but this can also lead people to learn how to respect one another despite their differences. People will be more open to differences, cultures, and perspectives, and promote unity. Racism and gender inequality will end. Socioeconomic status will no longer matter. The government will be corruption-free with a low crime rate. Isn't it worth it? Isn't it advantageous for all of us? Then what is stopping you from making a little effort? This is a choice. Within this time, there are newborn babies and miscarriages at the same time, new married couple and failed marriages at the same time, and people getting employed and terminated at the same time. The world is full of unforeseen circumstances, yet people still choose to label the world as a beautiful place to live in. Why? Because they choose to live in peace. Peace is a choice. Peace is within us. Our ability to manage this violence, these wars, it is about making yourself less affected by that incident. It is not about moving on either. It is about making yourself bigger than those incidents. Peace is about knowing how to manage these occurrences, how to control yourself, how to react, what will you do, and how will you cope. Peace is choosing your attitude toward your bad morning, choosing to treat your classmate more like a friend than as a competitor, choosing to forgive someone who hasn't even apologized to you, and such. Peace is a choice. Peace is a choice, but if you want a peaceful world, a non-violence country, an openness or diversity, you might want to consider peace as a responsibility. Peace is a responsibility.